Hey, is the fire starter in ancient dramas real? A fire starter? Mm -hmm. Look, it lights what? up with just a blow. This can't be possible, right? How could ancient people do that? Hmm, don't rush to judgment. Let's make one and find out. Are you sure? Reminder, this experiment is conducted in safe conditions. The method for making a fire starter is detailed in a book called Wushu Hui Zong. First, we make a bamboo tube with a lid to serve as the outer case. Next, let's prepare the core. We hammer the sweet potato vines into flat discs. Then, let me check. We dry the sweet potato vines for seven days? What? Seven days! That's way too long. Oh. Why bother? <laughs> Next, prepare sulfur, saltpeter, rosin, and camphor. Layer them on top of the sweet potato disc. Roll them up. Drill some ventilation holes into the bamboo tube. Place the rolled up disc inside the tube, seal it with a lid, and the fire start is ready. Will it work? No fire yet. I knew it was fake. Hold on. There's one crucial step missing. First light it, then put the lid on. You might think the fire's out, right? Or what? Actually, no. A small amount of oxygen enters through the hole, keeping the fire in a smoldering, incomplete combustion state. This process can last a long time, so even though it looks weak, if you open the lid and blow on it, the oxygen will reignite. The remaining embers and the fire will... burn again! Oh, it's lit! That's the secret to the fire starter.